Hello and welcome to another edition of Ask Cheeky. I'm Isaiah Hankel with Cheeky Scientist. And this week's question comes from Jessica Burnett. Uh, if there are no decent jobs, only BS and entry level engineering uh, jobs, for example, in an area, is it wise to take that entry level job um, or hold out for a job requiring a PhD or an MS degree at minimum? Great question. Uh, so uh, essentially, if you see a job posting for a job that seems like a good fit for you as a PhD, but it only requires a bachelor's of science degree or, or a master's of science degree, uh, should you apply to it? And, and the short answer is yes. If the job is a good fit for you, uh, you don't. the job does not have to say it requires a PhD uh, for you, you to be able to do PhD level work in that position. Uh, remember that job postings, they are hiring manager wish lists. Somebody chose, you know, uh, um, through a computer program, chose what to put out on a job posting. Um, they may not have done it uh, with, uh, in very much detail. They might, may not have thought about uh, the position in full in terms of uh, what it requires um, beyond just an academic degree as a checkbox, right? They may not have thought of, of everything that goes into getting a PhD and, and some of the transferable skills you have as a PhD that could make you a more viable candidate for this position. Uh, so you should apply for the position, and as you go through the interviewing process, uh, make sure that you highlight your transferable skills or why you're an even better candidate for this position given your PhD. Uh, not that you're a worse candidate or overqualified, but that you are uniquely qualified. In fact, you should use that exact phrase, uniquely qualified, not overqualified. Uh, you might get a question of you know, whether or not your PhD makes you overqualified for the position, and you could come back again by saying, no, it makes me uniquely qualified for this um, because of these transferable skills. Uh, so make sure you understand what your transferable skills are, um, especially your unique strengths, and you can communicate those effectively. Also, once you get to the job offer stage, uh, don't be afraid to ask an open-ended question, which is a, a good negotiation tactic at the very beginning. Um, ask, ask an open-ended question like, would it be possible to um, turn this position into a senior level position. Right? Uh, this is something that happens over and over. A lot of our associates, they go in for, they go in for interviews for positions that only require a BS or an MS, uh, and they come out getting the job, but the title has been changed and more responsibilities have been added and a higher level of salary has been added. Very often companies will create a position. If you're a good enough candidate, uh, a company is not going to turn you down just because you're overqualified. They want highly qualified candidates. They want uh, the best candidates, the most viable candidates. Uh, so, so apply to these positions, go through the interview, um, have a conversation about whether or not there might be another position that they could create or they might be able to turn it into a senior level position. Uh, and, and this way you can get a job that uh, can utilize your PhD and your unique skill set. So until next time, remember your value as a PhD and start thinking and acting like a successful industry professional.